Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 11 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on Windows Server operating systems. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 11 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video will be specifically dedicated to Windows Server operating systems. So what we're going to do in this video is we are going to start by showing you the compatible Windows Server operating systems with your Gen 11. We're going to show you how to download an ISO file, which we will put in our description section of the video. We're going to show you how to create a bootable USB because you're going to need to put that ISO ISO file onto your bootable USB, and then we're going to show you how to do step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to download and install Windows Server operating system, and specifically we're going to do 2022 onto the Gen 11. So let's go ahead and hop into the compatible versions. Well, you have 2019 and 2022. Those are the current compatible versions. I'm sure something will uh, pop out in the future that will be a newer Windows Server operating system. So do us a favor if you know 2024 comes out or 2025 comes out in the future, uh, drop a comment down below and let uh, users know just to keep this video uh, relevant. So all right, we'll let's hop into how to download the ISO file and all the installation instructions. All right, what we're gonna do now is show you how to install Windows Server 2022 onto your ProLiant Gen 11 server. The installation instructions are generally the same for most of the different Windows servers, but in this video, we will be doing Windows Server 2022. First, you're gonna to need to create a bootable USB with the Windows Server 2022 standard ISO file mounted onto the USB. This file can be obtained from Microsoft and we will also leave it in our description section. All right, first thing you're gonna do is go to the Microsoft link that you see listed here and we're gonna download the English 64-bit edition ISO file. All right, so now we need to create a bootable USB. We're gonna use a program called Rufus. So we just go into Google or to a web browser in general and search Rufus download the program and run it once it is downloaded. Plug the USB into the computer that you downloaded Rufus on and under the device in Rufus, make sure the USB drive is selected. If you only have one USB drive plugged into your machine, it will be selected by default. Leave everything under the default settings, then click the select button and choose the ISO file that we downloaded in the previous steps. Click Start to begin creating the Windows Server 2022 installation USB drive. The first thing you want to do is plug in your bootable USB to the server. Turn your server on. During the booting process, press F11 to access the boot menu. In the one time boot menu, please scroll down to select your bootable USB and press Enter. In this case, we will select our USB, which is the rear USB 2, USB disk 3.0. This will launch the Windows Server 2022 installation. So now on the Microsoft Server OS setup, we're gonna choose the language and keyboard layout and click next and install now. Now we will choose Windows Server 2022 Standard Evaluation Desktop Experience. You can choose a different one if you want, but this is what we will be doing in this video. Now click Next. We will accept the terms and conditions and click Next. Now we're going to choose Custom Install Microsoft Server Operating System Only. On the Where Do You Want to Install the Operating System page, we will highlight and delete each partition on our hard drive to have a fresh installation and utilize the entire disk. Click Next. The installation process will start and this will take some time. And after the installation is completed, you're gonna remove your bootable USB and let the server restart. Now the server will restart normally and it should boot to Windows automatically. On the Customize Settings page, type down your password and click Finish. This will bring you to the Windows Server Login page. Congratulations, you've successfully installed Windows Server 2022 onto your ProLiant Gen 11 server. Do us a favor, if you made it this far, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built new or used HPE, Dell, Cisco, Supermicro, IBM, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home lab's business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.